Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation on genomics. We will learn about genomics. In addition to that, we will also look into the future and beyond genomics. Transfer of characters from parents to the offspring is called inheritance. Each and every cell of an organism contains genes in the form of DNA that code for characters. Characters are thus are determined by the genes that is available in our chromosomes in the form of DNA. Genetics actually looks into one or a few genes at a time, whereas genomics is a comprehensive study of all the genes of an organism at a particular time. A sum total of all genes of an organism is called genome and study of complete genome is called genomics. In 1976, a bacteriophage MS2 was sequenced and its genome was published. But the revolution in genomic era was brought about by the publication of Human Genome Project in 2003. In 2003, the Human Genome Project was uh, announced by the American President Bill Clinton along with Francis Collins. When the project was published and announced, Bill Clinton vehemently and very confidently announced that in about 10 to 15 years, there will be a revolution, there will be a drastic change in the medical sciences. He said that in future, in about 15 years from now, we will all be carrying a gene card to a doctor or a hospital for the treatment of most of the diseases, if not for all diseases. He also said that cancer, which is a dreaded disease now, will be known as only a constellation, not as a disease. That was the confidence that the scientists had when Human Genome Project was published in 
unfortunately, nothing much has changed in the field of medical sciences, apart from the fact that the cost of sequencing and studying genome has drastically come down. Human Genome Project was cost about 3 billion US dollars at that time, but now the cost of sequencing a complete genome is well below about 1000 US dollars. Apart from this, we have also come to know about the list of genes, their position, their function, various uh, other aspects of the genome, but nothing much has changed in the field of medical sciences. Even gene therapy is not successful in many cases. Only in some cases where the diseases are caused by a single gene, maybe gene therapy is useful. Otherwise, even gene therapy is a useless method of treatment. Now, in 2020, about 17 years after the Human Genome Project was announced, we are looking into the reasons why HGP was not a great success. The reasons are, it was thought initially that most of the diseases are caused by single genes. Now we have realized that most of the diseases are not caused by single gene. They are actually caused by multiple factors and many genes. Because of this reason, we are unable to make use of the, the studies and the results that have come out of Human Genome Project. There is one more reason for the failure of Human Genome Project is that there are many other reasons, many other factors involved in the pathogenesis of a disease. Two important factors are the environmental factors called exposotypes this is called and also there are microbes which are living in our body they also play a very important role in the pathogenesis so multiple gene factor is one exposotypes is the other one which is caused by the environmental factors and the microbes that live in our system these are the three important things that are actually causing the disease and because of this if you only target and if you only study gene and genome the disease cannot be cured and cannot the problem cannot be solved that is the reason why the human genome project is not a great success <laughs>